Welcome down to Chessington, a world of adventures for an August update here from the theme park. And we started down there, there's a show just about to start, which is why we walked around, we showed you kind of what creepy caves looks like. So we're starting actually with Halloween preparation. A few places said they've started it early. I think they've started it quite late, to be honest. Halloween's the biggest event of the year for the theme parks, and uh, it's the most exciting time of the year, let's be perfectly honest. Whilst it does signal the end of the season as a general rule, you know, it's 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 the best, it's the best. And as you can see, we've just shown you it, this is the state of Creepy Caves. Now, it was announced last year that it would indeed be leaving, and that was its last year, but that award-winning maze may be leaving for a change. Well, I say maybe leaving for a change. It will definitely be Halloween related next year. Now, first things first, the park have only confirmed three things for this year, which is Trick or Treat Stage, uh, the Buy and Show, and the Witches of Adventure Point. They're the only three things that are currently confirmed by the park to be returning for 2023. But they've been quite good as well over the last few years in getting new and exciting additions in too. However, this over here, which actually looks really, really derelict, to be honest with you, last year's for Christmas, I'm hoping does return for the Halloween period. I love that walkthrough. I think the park was really lacking something having that last year. Two years ago, best Halloween I think Chesington have ever done. Last year was brilliant. However, it really missed this. So I'm kind of hoping that something else is done with this area for this year. But in terms of creepy caves, all we can tell you is it is being cleared out, like proper, proper cleared out. You can expect skips to arrive scenery stripped and of course when it was converted to creepy caves uh, resurgence or the various ones it did all the enclosures actually stayed in then they were just themed i think it's going to be gone and i think the whole building is going to be changed but that will be a halloween attraction for 2023 so on this video we're going to have a little wander around the park catch any updates and changes for you also take a look at any preparation that we can see for halloween i would suspect this is probably just it to be honest at the moment and of course check out scorpion express Now the old enclosures that we here, we said last time, uh, were being demolished. They've pretty much been demolished, there's quite a lot of mess about, but they are building some new ones, some slightly updated ones. Internals you can see have been done then, and obviously you can see down the back not that long ago where the pig enclosure was extended. So yeah, exciting new enclosures coming, they did look a bit old. Still a little bit of work to do on that though, I certainly wouldn't be expecting that much before the end of summer. Now very little has actually happened down here at Scorpion Express. Now I know there's a lot of rumours and things, I'm still not expecting this ride to be going anywhere, however I will go out and say now that I do not expect it to reopen for 2023. I think they will now put it into whatever maintenance it's going into and probably save it for next year. I don't expect it to go anywhere. I know everyone's like, rip it out, put a new coaster in. It's not a massive site, to be honest with you. There's quite a uh, work area behind it, which lead on to the animals. It's a small, compact family coaster. Again, we said last time it's made by Mac. Mac is still very much operating. They still very much build these. I see no reason why, you know, when the track and everything was refurbished only sort of eight years ago, why we wouldn't be just getting it up and running, to be honest, as a more cost-effective reason. And, you know, I think it still serves a purpose as a great rider as well. It is closed. There's no movement thus far on it. But who knows? Who really knows what they're thinking? Ancient history here at Chesington, obviously opened in 1987, so it's a massive part of the park's history. That doesn't mean it should stay. However, I think in the condition it's in, I'd really like to see it return next year in 2024 as you can see there crot drop is back open last time we were at the park crot drop was closed however in a shocking turn of events it is not spinning which is a little bit of a shame it's not particularly windy today to be honest it's due to rain later but it's actually quite warm in fairness I mean, it's all like a t-shirt hoodie but it is quite warm but it's good to see crot drop back open 40 minute queue today Always a favourite now, always a favourite. Now they oddly aren't using the extended queue line for Tomb Blast today, which causes a bit of a problem, and that screen is one that hasn't been fixed. A lot of the screens we have seen are, are working queue times. You know, Fort Park had a problem with them as well, and so did Chesington. That one isn't working yet. But yeah, a bit surprised the extended queue line isn't open. We've heard there's been some changes in there. I'm not queuing in that to find out, in honest with you. It's not done yet from what we hear, so we'll hold fire. We'll hold fire till it's done. 
Now the capybaras have uh, kind of been let out, they've been seen out quite a lot, however they've decided, even though they're not in their bed, to come and wander in with the tortoises and snuggle up with the tortoise, so fair play to them to be honest. It does seem there's definitely a problem still with the cue boards. Always an ongoing battle is replacing some of the, uh, the older wood. You see it quite often as you walk around. Get sort of painted at a later date in onto you as it sort of sort of decays with the weathers. Right, we're going to head into uh, Wild Asia now. See so if there's anything going on in there. Uh, be sure to check out our Wilderfest vlog as well because that will have um, uh, a lot of the things that have been set up for Wilderfest, which we would expect then to remain for uh, Halloween as well. So yeah, good times, good times. Lots of good stages out. Lots of good events going on at Chesington this year. Now a big complaint we've seen on socials recently is the lack of balls in here and I have to say um, given they're not that expensive there's just nothing you usually get loads on the floor loads to sort of scoop up take around and you know it's a three-story building they did a lot of facial work on it last year but yeah everyone's looking for balls easy fix easy fix and great satisfaction as well the woes of Dragon Fury this season have definitely been to see it's had extended downtime all year to be honest after quite a lot of refurbishment as well over the close season has yet to open on our day here at Chesington and down the walk here concludes our update from Chesington so the big news obviously is the um, removal of the creepy caves maze that's the big news and what is going to replace it well we've just got to wait and see we've got a couple of months to find out before Halloween but it's great to see this done early it gives you real encouragement there's going to be a lot of effort going into it it will still be an attraction as we walk down here Obviously we look at the fact that this isn't closed yet and whether or not there will indeed be a walkthrough maze here. I think there will be. I do think there will be, although Major Mandra Mayhem is quite loud, considerably loud for when you're walking through it. So it will be interesting to see. And then of course the changes in the new enclosures by the Children's Zoo. But I hope you've enjoyed the August update here from Chesington World Adventures. We will be keeping an eye on progress, particularly for Halloween. And be sure to check out our Wilderfest celebrations. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed it, please, 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 Leave it a like and we'll see you next time.